Hi, I'm Dr. Ver Matthews. I'm going to be showing you how to use the ACSM running equation in order to calculate oxygen consumption with somebody doing that exercise modality. So let's use a question in order to help us here. So Carlos is a client at your gym. He's running on a treadmill at 6.8 miles per hour, 4% uh, grade. Um, how much oxygen is he going to use per minute in order to do this? And so we're going to be calculating uh, oxygen consumption or VO2 in relative units. So this is going to be uh, milliliters of oxygen per kilogram of body mass per minute. So let's look at our given valuable uh, variables here. And so we know the exercise modality, which is very important for uh, eventually picking out the right calculation to use or the right uh, formula to use. Um, so he is running, so we'll, we'll use that in a few minutes and you'll see where that comes in. Uh, he's going to be running at 6.8 miles per hour and at 4% grade. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to calculate uh, what 6.8 miles per hour is in meters per minute because that's what the ACSM equation requires is uh, meters per minute as the unit. So 6.8 times the conversion factor of 26.82 is going to give us 182.376 meters per minute. Um, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to convert the 4% uh, grade into a decimal format, which is just dividing by 100, so you end up with 0 0.04 as the grade. All right, so now let's look at the equation. We're using, again, the running equation, which is uh, oxygen consumption in relative terms, so mLs, uh, uh, milliliters of oxygen per kilogram of body mass per minute is equal to uh, in parentheses, 0 0.2 times the speed, uh, out of parentheses now, plus in parentheses again, 0 0.9 times the speed times the grade, in parentheses, plus 3.5. Alright, so a fairly long equation here, but for calculating oxygen consumption, this is still pretty easy to do. So let's go ahead and plug our, uh, our values in here, so we end up with um, oxygen consumption is equal to 0 0.2 times 182.376 and then in another set of parentheses we're going to add to that 0 0.9 times 182.376 times 0 0.04 and parentheses plus the 3.5. This 3.5 represents the resting component here so we rest at 3.5 mLs per kg per minute so that's that's why this is here. All right, so let's start doing this step by step. So the first thing I'm going to do is the first set of parentheses where I'm going to multiply together the 0 0.2 times 182.376, and I end up with 36.4752. The next thing I'm going to do is start working on this second set of parentheses. So let's look at that now. We end up with, uh, when we multiply 0 0.9 times 182.376, we end up with 164.1384, and now we need to, still within this parenthesis, multiply by 0 0.04, so looking at the next one here, we end up with 6.565536. And I, I tend to keep all the decimal places until the very end, so you're gonna see a lot of decimals here. All right, so now I'm going to just start adding this stuff up. Uh, so I'm gonna to add together the 36.4752, to the 6.565536, end up with 43.040736, and now I'm going to add in the 3.5, and that's going to give me, for the oxygen consumption uh, of this individual running at this in, uh, specific speed in grade, 46.540736 milliliters of oxygen per kilogram of body mass per minute which you would just round this uh, at this point to 47 mLs per kg per minute. So fairly straightforward calculation, um, but if you have any questions or comments, you can put those in the comments section below and I'll try to get back to you. Otherwise, please come back and watch another video. Thanks.